and I just remember thinking, man, the synergy of Marvel and Audi and the way that it panned out, it's just incredible. And then the success of the film, and it's like these two brands built off each other, and it's been a love affair ever since. Hey everyone, it's Warren here, and Audi just came out with a brand new promotional video for their new concept car, the Audi e-tron GT, featuring Robert Downey Jr. Coincidentally, the same exact day that the Avengers Endgame trailer dropped. In the video, he talks about the relationship between Audi and the Iron Man films all the way up to Avengers Endgame. And in this film, it does seem like Robert Downey Jr. has confirmed that Tony Stark will live and not die stranded in space alone on the Benatar and be rescued or saved somehow. After the battle on Titan, Tony and Nebula were the only two people left, and we learned from the Avengers Endgame trailer that they took Star-Lord's ship, the Benatar, and they left Titan. And when they leave, they get lost in space, and we know this because in the trailer, Tony Stark himself says that he ran out of food and water and that he's about to run out of oxygen. And then there's a scene in the trailer that looks like it's Nebula touching the shoulder of Tony Stark. And in this scene, it looks like Tony is either dead or dying. So everybody started to wonder, is Tony going to live or is he going to die? Because this is a movie about time travel. He can die and easily come back and still be a part of the majority of the movie. But like I said, in this video, it sort of seems like Robert Downey Jr. gives it away that he lives. You know I need to drive it, right? Sure, you have, you have driven it already. Well, I mean, I as Tony Stark in Avengers 4, out in theaters spring 2019 I did, but this is us now, buddy. So, as you just heard, he says that he has driven this car as Tony Stark in Avengers 4. Well, in Avengers Endgame, Tony will start off on Titan, then he'll leave in the Benatar and get stranded in space. So, not really much of an opportunity to drive an Audi. This statement in this video implies that he of course makes it back to Earth somehow. Audi brands their cars in these movies with Tony Stark. They make it known that they're Audi, so he's not going to drive this on some alien planet somewhere. Not to mention, this is a pretty futuristic car. It's a concept car, so this could imply that not only does he live, he actually lives sometime into the future. When Tony gets back to Earth, it'll be sometime not too long after the snap. And I'm not sure what the world's status will be, but since half of the people living on the Earth were wiped away from existence, I'm not sure if creating new futuristic cars will be priority number one. Now, he is Tony Stark, so there is a chance that he could already have the car, but when would they really want to show it? What if we don't see it until the end of the movie, until after Thanos is defeated and everybody is all happy, much like they did with the first Avengers film? Well, that would mean that not only would Tony survive being stranded in outer space, but he would actually survive the attack against Thanos. I think everybody pretty much believes that either Tony Stark or Steve Rogers is going to die in Avengers Endgame. And if this statement that he makes in this video is any kind of a confirmation that he lives, then sorry Captain. By Robert Downey Jr. saying that he drives this car in Avengers Endgame, it definitely confirms that he survives being stranded in outer space. But do you think that this also confirms that Tony Stark will survive the battle against Thanos in Avengers Endgame? Let me know your thoughts and theories on this in the comments down below, and also let me know who you think is going to save Tony. And don't forget about my giveaway, I'm giving away a life-sized Infinity Gauntlet. All you have to do to enter for your chance to win is to be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything related to Avengers Endgame. As always, thank you all so much for watching, woof woof.